Hey, I'm at the beach here and I'm just doing some reflecting. <laughs> and I want to ask a question. Why is nobody worried about nuclear missiles anymore? Why is nobody worried about hydrogen bombs? Why is nobody worried about children being blown up in schools from a nuclear attack? It looks to me like the nuclear hoax stuff has found its way out of our system. It looks to me like most of it has vanquished and is gone. So it appears that for a certain period of time a hoax comes along and scares the bejeevers out of people. And then all of a sudden that hoax is gone. Just like nuclear war and nuclear missiles and nuclear power plants exploding. Well, you do know that nuclear stuff is a hoax. I hope you know that. And if you don't, I'm telling you right now, it's all a hoax. No one ever had to worry about a nuclear missile strike. No one ever had to worry about a hydrogen bomb. No one ever had to worry about being disintegrated by an atomic blast because all of it is BS. Yes, that's right. It's all just BS. So the nation gets placed under a major hoax such as nuclear war possibilities and it goes on for quite some time and then it just stops. So I'm just asking the question why isn't anybody afraid right now of a nuclear missile strike? Why aren't we rallying to get Star Wars technology like Ronald Reagan suggested to orbit the Earth and stop incoming missiles. By the way, I use that to comfort people that <laughs> believe in the missiles, the nuclear missiles and all that. I'll just say to them, don't worry about it. Ronald Reagan secretly install installed Star Wars technology up in the orbit above the Earth so you don't have to worry about those nuclear missiles coming at us because our Star Wars technology will take care of the nuclear missiles. <laughs> so right now we're in the middle of a hoax. I'm not going to name the hoax. I'm not going to discuss the hoax, just to say there's a hoax going on and it will run its course. How long? Unknown, but if we go back in time, approximately a century, the estimate would be about three years. That's just an estimate and a guesstimate. If you go back in time, approximately a hundred years. So, the lesson is this. The hoaxes come and they go. Once one hoax has run its course, it's pretty well finished. But every generation needs some good hoaxes. And that's why I brought this up. 
Why is nobody right now frightened that nuclear missiles can come? Oh, I know, there was a little touch of it there with uh, North Korea. <laughs> and that was just nothing but a comedy show. That was just like a Saturday night live show. Because most likely, <laughs> Donald Trump played the dude from North Korea. Most likely. Oh, he probably had on some makeup and he had on uh, some, some, uh, something for a mask for his face. But that's the joke. Folks don't get it. The joke is the hero and the villain are very often the identical same individual. And if you don't believe that, you can take a look closely at Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis. The only difference is Abraham Lincoln didn't know how to style his hair. Otherwise, <laughs> everything is the same. Jeff Davis was Abraham Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln was Jeff Davis. So, if you really want to look into this, I've got a video. It's one of the, f about the third video I ever made. And it's called, I Fought Myself in a Civil Raw Battle. And I use the word raw, R-A-W, in place of the word war. And I will show you that the northern generals were the southern generals <laughs> for all the battles. In other words... It was the same dude in charge of the North as the South because it was all hokey. It was all drama and theater. Remember, the theater of war, the theater of, hmm, I'm not going to say the word right now, but just use that little expression, the theater of fill in the blank. Thank you for listening to my ramblings here on the beach as I just have things on my mind and I'm not sure a whole lot of people will want to keep listening to all the stuff I ramble about. But if you have listened and you've made it to the end of this video, I'd like to thank you. God bless you. Take care. End of video.